If you think those lights look cool, check out this. How cool does that look? Individual lights in the bumper, up top on the roof, ones in this sick looking grill, and also ones at the back. Looks awesome. Alright guys, let's get into the video. What's up guys, Steve again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 here with the final build video for this awesome G-Made Buffalo assembly kit. Now, looking awesome. Now, I, went, I wanted to go with something, I love white, so I wanted to go with something a little bit different. And I've seen like this kind of blue colour on some old school pickups, maybe a Chevy Blazer or something like that. And I thought, you know what, I love that colour. And I also had it before on something similar on a buggy over there, but I thought, you know what, this will look cool, especially with the chrome, uh, all the nice chrome accessories on here, and the black guards have also smoked the windows out, it's not a sticker, I've done a bit of smoke with this PS31, and if all you guys playing at home, the colour is PS3. It looks really good, all Tamiya paints obviously, pick it up from Crazy Hobbies, go check them out if you want, but I think it looks cool as well with the black rims and the, uh, the smoked out windows. I didn't back it up with anything, it's just the coat, you can obviously put black at the, uh, after you painted the blue, but I didn't bother, so master all up, all the uh, masking and stuff works fine, nothing wrong with it, kit, nice fit, you do have to drill all these holes, so it's, you know, it's 3mm, 5mm, 4.5mm, but it's very easy on the instructions, so these are for the guards, still got the clear plastic on top, and at the back, because I'm running the full LED kit, it comes with a little mask for the Three lights, so that is see-through, as you can see, and you have to cut out the front as well for the grill and all that kind of stuff. So this is just on temporarily. Just wanted to see how it fits, but you have to cut it all out. Let me pop that out for you. There we go. So you drill those, you know, three, five mil holes and all these other ones because, as you can see, this body doesn't have any body pins or anything like that, which is really nice. The body clips kind of come underneath the shell here and there's all these holes so you need to drill for that but in the instruction manual it's really easy to follow there you go it tells you all the size you need so it ranges from two millimeter three millimeter four four and a half and five so there's a fair bit there but you know any drill bits will do you also got an option to run the roof rack you don't have to but i did as well and it gives you this nice little template that's why the last page is cut out because that's where the template is but what we'll go through now, I'm not going to show you doing all of this. You can put on the stickers if you want. It's a nice decal sheet actually. And it does include some trims and stuff for the windows. Like the window frames or the chrome stuff like that. Pretty cool. I think we put on the, the rear like uh, stickers and the LED light will shine through it. Because here they are here. So I've got the bumper kit as well, LEDs for that. I've got all the options. Now they, they don't come in the kit, but you can get them online. So, um, in the instructions here, it tells you where to mount everything. There's the kind of secret body clips and all that kind of stuff. Your chrome, and pretty self-explanatory. We're not going to go through all this. Let me put all these uh, fenders together, and uh, we'll see how the final product looks. Not too sure if I run the pinstripe on the side, the grey stripe. We'll see how it looks without it, and then if we need to, we'll put it on there. But what do you guys think of this colour? I think it pops. I think it suits the truck. I've seen it in old school pickups, so nice. I think it turned out pretty well. Let's uh, get to the next step. Okay, update guys. I uh, put the grill on and uh, underneath that was blue. Um, so I blacked it out and I think it looks heaps better. The black with the uh, guards and everything looks nice. But yeah, just a little quick update. Let's just put it on here roughly. It's looking nice. Next up, I've got to do the light buckets and uh, yeah. Looking really good. I, I, I'm glad I went with that blue. The black and the chrome really pop with that blue. Whoa, check out that. I jumped a few steps. Got everything mounted. Wow. Look at these lights. I know it's so bright. Right, so it's pretty dark in there. Check out this. <laughs> I don't think you can have an issue with this out in the trails in the dark. Yep, pretty bright. <laughs> Awesome. Check out that <laughs> bar on top. This is a full light kit. It's also the one used for the Komodo, I believe, for the car. So it's got two in each side here. 
ones in the bumper bar. These are all separate, so you've got one, two, three here, four. You get the ones in the back lights as well. Check out that. I'm so happy I went with this blue. I think it looks fantastic. Not too sure if I want to put on some more of these stickers. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Maybe some of these greys. Let me, I might have a look. But uh, there we go there. I did put on the stickers here for the lights just to so it's not as bright for the LED. But look at that. It looks sick. That is PS3 Blue if any of you guys playing home want to copy and paint the same colour. I'll show you up on this body. Okay, here's on my wiring job. So, as you can see, the radio, there we go. So, you need body pins to secure like some of the accessories like the, the mirrors and the wipers. So what I did, I actually put a little cable tie through them to hold the wires up. And use one of these, uh, these are called commander strips, double sided tape up here as well, and up underneath there as well. And if I don't want to run the lights, I just unplug them here. And think about the these ones in the bumper and the roof, the roof one doesn't run, you can't run off the uh, receiver, not enough power. So I've just soldered some wires here, exactly roll well, right to the power. If I want to, I just unplug this. So I just have to use two hands. Unplug that. You see those lights are off. And any ones that are on are the bumper bar. And the rear ones. And the other ones are just from this cable here. So everything is nicely sorted. I've got to just put that down. There's a little gasket that runs around that. And that is it. But there's my wiring. Kind of nicely out of the way. These body pins go down into these holes here. So you can't see any from the top. And the rear ones here slide in to the back just there. That is it. So nicely kind of routed. Cable tied up around, or the wires here, as you can see, for those individual lamps, or sorry, LEDs in the front bumper. But that's pretty much it. What do you guys think? I think it looks really, really cool. I like how you can't see the body, body pins. It's not on properly, because you have to kind of slide it in the back first and slide the front down. But looking good. Really pleased with this kit. No issues at all. I'm also getting the, uh, another kit, the... GOM kit I believe um, so check out that coming soon but there we go well next video for this will be driving it see how it performs see how that overdrive system works so that'll help pull it out of uh, situations but I might go put some of these I don't know these trimmings on to kind of I think it exacerbates and highlights the uh, the trims in the window so let me see how that looks yeah now I think I'm gonna leave it as it is these trimmings, you, they're all need a, they're not pre-cuts, so you have to do it all by hand, and I didn't, I don't, I'm not too fond of the grey, so I'm just like the black, nice contrast there, I did put on just a sticker here for the, the little handle, and just that buffalo one there, I think it looks nice, and the lights, obviously, the ones here for the mirrors, and that's it, but if you, if you want to get one yourself, you can do that on yours if you want, but I think it looks good just like that. I oh, know that's me. I might just put a G Made sticker on here or there. It's also got that cool buffalo. That would look cool on the on the hood there. But uh, I'm just liking it plain like that. Kind of looks like a someone's you know normal car, not snazzed up. But yeah, didn't want to the grey to go with or the black and the blue. But it, you know it's up to you. But I think it looks cool. Next video, guys, we'll get this up and running. I um, hope you enjoyed this build series really liked building this car like i said before no issues went together really well and i uh, do like how you can't see the body clips that's cool it's all underneath really great i like it all right next video we'll definitely get this out in the trails see how it performs and like i said if you're interested in this links will be down below go check it out um, you click on the link and then you go to the online shop and you can see a particular car well there we go there how cool does that look all right, guys, might make this video as long as the others, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.